approximately 3.5 million tons of plastic in our oceans. Take a look at this. These plastic particles were collected from the Pacific by my next guest, who sailed from California to Hawaii on a raft constructed of 15,000 reused plastic bottles to raise pollution awareness. And he's here today to share his research with us. Please welcome Dr. Marcus Erickson. And this is horrible. Yes. So that's an example we find in the ocean. Uh, we find this, we find this debris here. I want to show you what I found. When I first began this issue eight years ago, I was, I was a high school teacher. I chaperoned 14 students going to Hawaii and to Midway Island. Now, Midway is, is midway between Japan and California. Right. Went there looking at birds, and I was picking up, like, toothbrushes, cigarette lighters, action figure leg, little medicine bottles. The things you see here uh. didn't wash up on the beach. These are things that I actually found inside the skeletons of birds. So I recognize a huge environmental impact of our yeah. trash, things I recognize from my community, are ending up in animals thousands of miles away. Yeah, well, uh, a turkey of mine just died, and I was telling Dr. Erickson, uh, and in the stomach was a twistum from the vegetables. So that's so, bad. I mean, it's, it's even on Earth, too, that animals are ingesting the bad things, not only in the oceans. But around here, the world. Yes. I mean, this is, this is debris that you can pick up pretty much on any beach nowadays, isn't it? You can find debris around the yes. world. How I got started doing this is um, once I had this experience, I, I built a raft out of plastic bottles. My first one. I know. And you dared sail it? Well, this was my first one. I went down the Mississippi oh, River, uh, 2,000 miles. That's called buoyancy. the bottle rocket. <laughs> and I, I noticed all this trash leaving our, our nation's greatest river, the Mississippi, out the Gulf of Mexico. And I realized, do something about it. So from the Mississippi, I went to California, and I joined the Al Galita Marine Research Foundation. And we're studying what happens when plastic goes down our lakes and rivers out to sea. And that's where we found this jar of debris. Ugh, it's so disgusting, really. Yes. It really is. And how did you uh, craft that boat? Um, did, how did you figure out how many bottles you need to keep you um, afloat? Well, I, I figured 15,000 bottles would get me somewhere. So we took, we made six 30 foot long pontoons, like a giant hot dog wrapped in fishing nets, 15,000 bottles. On top of that, we took 30 sailboat masts. We, we found a junker full of sailboats, made a deck. And on, the, on top of that, for our cabin, was a Cessna 310 aircraft. Oh. And that fuselage was where you lived for 88 days at and, sea. And it held up well? Well, not really. No. So, <laughs> So day one, we actually began to sink. Uh, you know, I, I had little kids tell me, aren't you going to glue the caps back on the bottles? I was like, no, nah, I don't need to do that. Yeah, hot glue gun. Would it work? I wish I had done that. <laughs> but what happened was day one, uh, we had sports bottles, these polycarbonate sports bottles. Right. The caps began coming off. So uh, first day, we had 1,000 bottles that were full of water. So my fiance Anna, she came out uh, with a fishing vessel a week later as a rescue mission <laughs> and brought us a tub full of glue. So we spent that first day just gluing caps back on bottles. And for the first month at sea, uh, we were still making this boat seaworthy as we were heading to Hawaii. Well, now, if we were going to just take a skimmer, a strainer, and skim the top of the ocean as we are, you know, sailing blithely by, what would we find? Well, what we've done for the last 10 years is do just that. Skim the ocean surface in an area called the North Pacific Gyre. Uh, gyre means just rotating currents, and you have five gyres in the is world. Near, is that near, like, oh, that's the North Pacific, that's, so that's yes. not near the Galapagos. Oh, you have a South Pacific oh, gyre. Yeah, I think North I was Atlantic. in that one, yeah. Okay. Well, they're all full of plastic, we're, we're discovering. But we focus on the North Pacific. And, for example, if you go halfway to Hawaii, where I just traveled to, in the middle, we drop our nets, skin the surface, and we find there's far more plastic than anything else. In so where's it coming from? I mean, is this the barges that we think we think we're recycling, right? We get, we buy our pla our water in plastic bottles, we buy our soda pop, and then we put it in the recycling bin and we send it to the recycling area of our of our you know trash compactors or whoever it is. And mm -hmm. where do they go? Well, the truth is, most of the trash comes from us. It's as simple as a bottle cap washing down a storm drain out to sea. And we actually got lots more bottles. So it's not it's not barges dumping it. No. Or, oh, uh, that's, that's a misconception is, that it comes oh. from the maritime industry, fishing oh. boats and fishing vessels dumping trash. The no, I don't mean is, that. I mean, I mean, when we, I, I see these barges going out the Hudson River every single day loaded with trash. They're going somewhere. Yes, and, and that could be some. Those are going yeah. to landfills on land, and some may blow into the ocean. Yeah. But the truth is that most of it is coming from 
uh, like I said, a bottle cap or a bag or a bottle, washing down storm drains and blowing out to sea. So what should we be doing uh, as individuals to uh, make sure that we are not putting so much plastic into the oceans? Well, the solutions are, well, it, it's not recycling. That's a very small part, and only 5% of plastics may get recycled. I had a chance to go to our nation's largest landfill in Puente Hills. They get 1,300 tons of trash a day. Oh, and I asked them, where's all the plastic go? They reclaim some plastic. So it you, all goes you to suggest China. we don't use plastic at all, right? Get off the single-use plastics. It makes no sense that we've invented a material plastic designed to last forever, non-biodegradable, GV-resistant. Then we make products that are designed to be thrown away. It makes no sense. So getting off of Doesn't the disposable. Does that make sense, everybody? It does. So everybody in our audience can help make a difference because you're all going home with an eco-usable bottle. Fill this with your water. This is a really good idea. Yes, that's a solution. This is a good idea. And these bags, there are alternatives to the bags and bottles. Right. My fiance makes these from old t-shirts. How they can great. replace the bags that we yep. consume in grocery stores. And carry this with you to the grocery store. Do not accept the bags that they're handing out, right? Yes, just refuse or if they, to if consume. You, if you do, use that for other purposes. I, I use them and use them and use them until they fall apart. Yes. So, uh, but thank you so much. This is uh, certainly bringing awareness thank to you. our audience. And for more information, log on to MarthaStewart.com. We'll be right back.